a Tuscaloosa City Councilman, is now fighting for his reputation. As a representative for District 5, Kip Tyner says his support has been phenomenal and his day for clearing his name is coming. Tyner, who was arrested on drug charges, showed up for the job that he was first elected for some 15 years ago. And WVUA is at the City Council meeting tonight. Here is a live look at the City Council meeting where Tyner, along with the other council members, are meeting just four days after his being charged with both possession of a controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. Councilman Kip Tyner assumed his seat that of the people of District 5 elected him to more than 10 years ago. Of course, we will have much more on this tonight from City Council on WVUA News at 10. Other news tonight, there may be someone you need to leave off the gift list this year. A new state ethics law that took effect earlier this year prohibits anyone from giving gifts to public employees, and that includes teachers. But how far does this new law reach? WVUA's Daniel Sparkman takes a look at what all this could mean. The law went into effect back in March, but has yet to be defined by the State Ethics Commission. State Representative John Merrill says the law is aimed at certain groups of people. An individual who's in a, a decision-making position in order to make sure that those individuals are not being encumbered by the pressure that might be put on them by an individual is what this is designed to prevent. The law in part reads, no lobbyist or principal, meaning primary person, shall offer or provide a thing of value to a public employee. It goes on to say a lobbyist or principal may offer or provide and a public employee may solicit or receive items of de minimis value or item of little to no value. It's not necessarily designed to influence people who might be trying to persuade a teacher to act in a certain way or persuade a principal to act in a certain way. It's designed to influence those individuals who are interacting with all public officials. Right now, some parents and educators say they are worried about exchanging any gift. At this point, it's, it's unclear the exact implications that this law will have for us. It's appropriate for them to give a gift or home-baked goods or a homemade card or, or something like that. The State Ethics Commission still has to set specific guidelines for public employees to follow. In Tuscaloosa, Daniel Sparkman, WVUA News. And the Alabama Ethics Commission will meet tomorrow morning in Montgomery to discuss those guidelines on enforcing this new law. Problems with the U.S. Postal Service are trickling down to affect local post offices. In fact, we could start to see the results right here in West Alabama, and it may be very soon. The Postal Service now considering moving mail processing operations from the current Skyland Boulevard location in Tuscaloosa to Birmingham. Postal officials told WVA that could affect everything from when you can drop off your mail to the number of post office jobs. WVA spoke with Deborah Federley with the U.S. Postal Service. She says your mail may now take a little longer to reach its destination. And uh, Federley says that right now no jobs will be cut because of this merging process. Instead, they will be reassigned to other positions, they meaning some of the postal carriers, uh, other positions within the company. Happening right now, downtown Northport, turning back the hands of time to the Victorian era. It's time for the Dickens Downtown Holiday Festival. Carolers, craftsmen, food and music, that's just some of what you'll find in downtown Northport tonight. It's a chance to enjoy the sights and sounds of the 19th century for the holidays. Organizers say that despite the rain, the fun is going on. Earlier today, we caught up with Brandon Cooper with the Northport Downtown Merchants Association, who says the event is great for the entire family. We started out of thinking about a Dickens Christmas, the Christmas Carol, and it's just kind of the nostalgic idea of the way Christmas should be and how people really want it to be, and I think we do offer a lot. And the event is free and open to the public, and the fun lasts until 8 o'clock tonight. The University of Alabama is giving away more than, more than a few thousand, giving away thousands of dollars in free books to school libraries in the Black Belt region. 
Children in six schools will be able to crack open brand new books, and it's all part of the Book Bonanza for the Black Belt program. It's sponsored by the U of A School of Library and Information Studies. A total of over $7,000 in books will be donated, and the winning schools are G.E. Terry and Shiloh Elementary and 6th Grade Academy in Dallas County. Also, Mount Olive Primary School and Mount Olive Intermediate School in Russell County, Carver Middle School in Greene County, Francis Marion High School in Perry County, Sunshine School in Hale County, and Southside High School in Dallas County.